how to put the dimensions and weight of your Amazon FB inventory to Amazon Seller Central so Amazon Warehouse will know like how many cartons of your inventory they can expect, how many units are there in the total shipment and how many units are there into one carton. So while creating a shipping plan for any of your product on Amazon Seller Central, you must need to tell Amazon like how many cartons are there into your total shipment, what is the weight of your total shipment, what is the weight of one carton, what is the dimension of one carton and what is the weight of one unit because it's super important for you to tell Amazon the accurate data about your shipment, about your total number of units, total weight, so they can expect and allocate the space for your inventory in their warehouse. And if you put that information wrong, like for example, the total weight of your inventory is 50 kg and you put the wrong information like 75 kg or even 100 kg, then Amazon is going to charge you the extra money for storage and the shipping carrier will charge you the extra money for the shipping. That's why it's super important for you to enter the correct detail. So in this video, I'm going to show you where and how you can actually enter your correct detail about the shipment into Amazon FBA Seller Central so you can actually avoid these extra charges and you can successfully send your Amazon FBA inventory from your house or from your supplier warehouse to Amazon FBA warehouse safely and correctly. So if you want to learn this whole process step by step, then keep on watching this video completely till the end without skipping any part. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on Amazon FBA Seller Central right now. So for example, I need to send this product as my Amazon FBA shipment. So to tell Amazon like how many units of this product we are sending to their warehouse and how many cartons in total are there, how many units are there in one carton, what is the weight and dimension of one carton. So in order to give that detail, we need to create a shipping plan for this product in Amazon Seller Central. So they will be able to know the information about our inventory and they will allocate the Amazon FBA shipment ID and Amazon FBA be a warehouse address to our shipment. So let's see how we can create the shipping plan and then I'll show you how you can actually put the dimension of your inventory to Amazon Seller Central so they will be able to know about your shipment. So in order to create a shipping plan for any product, you just need to select that product and then after selecting that product, you just need to click on this drop down menu and here you can just click on this third option which is send replenish inventory. So as soon as I click on this button, I will be able to see this screen of shipment and here you can see that there are some steps like step number one, step number two and step number three. So basically we need to fill out the information about our product in these steps and then Amazon will allocate the shipping ID to our shipment, the warehouse address and at last step we can just actually print the box labels. For example, there are 10 boxes in our shipment, so we will be able to generate 10 labels from here. So we can just send those labels to our supplier, so they can just print those labels and paste them to the boxes. So by doing so, when Amazon will receive your shipment, they will scan those labels and they will be able to know like these boxes belongs to your account and your product so it will be easy for them to manage your inventory in the shelf in their warehouse. So let's see in this shipping plan how we can actually tell Amazon about your product. So you can see that there are three options available. Number one is packing details, number two is information and number three is total quantity. So for example, if you want to send 500 units of your product and there are 10 units in one carton. So what you need to do is you need to tell Amazon like there are total 50 cartons of your product present in that inventory and each carton contain 10 units. So in a total we want to send 500 units of this product and in addition to that we need to tell Amazon like what is the weight and dimension of one carton like weight in pounds and dimension in inches. So to do that we are having two options available. Number one is we can just create a case pack for that one box like here you can see that I have created 50 units per carton case pack so then Amazon will know like one carton contain 50 units and this is the weight and dimension of that carton so we can just select that packaging template and just put the number of carton here like 10. So by doing that by defining the carton we can just send our inventory. But this will work only if all of your cartons are identical or you are having less carton. But for example, if you are having different cartons of different sizes and different dimensions and you are having a lot of cartons like 100 or 200, so this method will not work. 
So in that case, you need to select individual units. So let's just select this option. And after selecting that option, I need to click on this prep and labeling details needed. So when I click on that, then Amazon will ask me like who will paste the labels on the boxes, you, your supplier or Amazon. So to tell Amazon about that, we just need to select on this restart prep category selection process. So as soon as I click on that, I can see a drop down menu here. So I just need to click on that drop down menu. And on the last, I can just click on no prep needed because we don't want Amazon to paste the labels on the cartons. As you know that our inventory is at our supplier warehouse and when we send them the labels, they will easily paste the labels on the cartons to send the shipment from their warehouse to Amazon FBA warehouse. Because on all of those labels, all of the information about our shipment like ship from address, ship to address, Amazon FBA shipping ID and number of units in one carton, all the information will be present on those labels. So in this case, we want our supplier to paste those labels to the cartons. So that's why we can just click no prep needed and then we can just click on save. Now click on save again. Now as soon as I click on save, you can see that our packaging details section and information section has been completed. And now if we move on to the step number 2, we just need to tell Amazon like how many total units we want to send. So as you guys already know, in this case, we want to send 500 units. So we can just type 500 here and then we can just click on ready to pack. Alright, so after doing this, you can see that these three fields are completed like packaging detail, information and quantity to send. Now at this stage, Amazon know like this product we are sending, 500 units we are sending and we don't want them to paste the labels on the carton and these units we are sending as individual units. So now the first step is completed and in order to move on to the second step, we need to click on this pack individual units. So as soon as I click on that, Amazon will move me to the next step. You can see that in this next step, Amazon is asking me to give the packaging detail or the packing list. Then we need to go down and here in the packaging information section, I need to tell Amazon like is everything will fit into one box or multiple box will be needed. So in our case, we are having 500 boxes. So we need to click on multiple boxes will be needed and click on confirm and here in this drop down menu, we can see multiple options available like enter from web, upload excel file and so on. So here we can enter the detail of our carton like weight, dimension and number of units in one carton here. But you can see that you can enter box content information up to 10 boxes from web form. Like if we are having 10 boxes, we can just put the information here. But as you guys already know, in this case, we are having 500 units and total of 50 boxes. So if I enter 50 here, then it will not allow me to put the information from the web. So in that case, in more than 10 boxes, we need to download the Excel file and then we need to fill out the information in that Excel file. And then we need to upload that Excel file again to Amazon to let them know like how many cartons are there, how many units are there in one carton and what is the weight and dimension. So in order to put the details of 50 carton, we need to take the help of Excel sheet. So we can just click on this drop down menu again and click on upload Excel file. And here we can tell there are total of 50 cartons and click on generate Excel file. So as you can see here, it is generating file for us and here the file has been generated. So now at this stage, what we have to do is we can just click on this Excel file, download that file and edit that file. And in that file, we need to put all of the information about our inventory, about our carton. And then we need to re-upload that file in order to let Amazon know about our inventory. And then we can just create the labels and finish that shipment. So let's click here and you can see that on the top left corner, the file has been downloaded. So let's open that file into the Google Sheet or an Excel Sheet. Okay, so as you can see here, I have opened that file and here we can already see the information about our shipment which Amazon know. Like Amazon know that we are sending the shipment for this SKU, for this product title, for this ASIN and there are total 500 units. But the information which Amazon don't know is what is the weight and dimension of one box and how many units are there in one box. So here you can see that we need to fill out these fields in order to tell Amazon like how many boxes, how many units in one box and what is the weight and dimension of one box. So as in that case, we are having 10 units in one box so we can just type 10 here so you can see that in box number one we are having 10 units and the weight of box number one is 15 pounds and the width length and height are 8 10 and 12 so as you can see here we have just filled out the quantity weight and dimension of one box so if your weight, dimension and quantity is same for all of the boxes, you can simply copy and paste these values in all of the boxes. But if you have a different weight and dimension, so you can just change those values as per your requirement. So in this case, we are having all of the boxes identical. So we can just copy and paste these values till the end. So let's just select that 15, 8, 10 and 12. And we can just drag this to end in order to copy in all fields. So let's just click and drag. 
All right, so we have just dragged these values to 50 boxes. So let's just go back and drag the quantity value as well, which is 10. So let's just click and drag. All right, so our quantity value has been dragged as well. So we have just filled out all of those value for all 50 boxes. So let's just go back again to just verify. And here it is. You can see that the expected quantity is 500 and the box quantity is also 500. So before downloading and uploading that file, you need to make sure that these two values must be same. If these two values are same, that means you are good to go. So now we can just download this file because I'm using Google Sheet. But if you're using Microsoft Excel, you can just save that file and upload that file to Amazon Seller Central. So let's just download this file. File, download, Microsoft Excel. So after downloading that file, we need to go again on Amazon and here I can just click on upload and validate file. So after clicking here, I can just select that file and click open. So here you can see that it is verifying that file. So right after Amazon verify your file, you will be able to see this confirm and continue button. So if you have entered all the data correctly into that file, then you will be able to see no error here and you can just click on confirm and continue. So let's just click on that. So right after clicking on continue, you will be proceed to the second step. You can see that step number two. So in step number one, you have just tell Amazon about the ship from address, the quantity of your inventory, the quantity of boxes and the dimension and weight of your boxes. So now in step number two, you can just select the expected date on which your supplier will ship the product. Let's say that date will be 29th of May, like next Monday. And then you need to select the shipping mode, which is SPD and LTL. So these two options are available. So basically SPD is for small shipments and LTL LTL is for large shipment. So in this case, we are having less boxes like 50 boxes. So SPD is okay. But if you are having large shipment like more than one container or more than one truck, then you can just select LTL because for the large shipment, the carrier might need to use pallets to ship your shipment. So let's click on SPD and then go down and from here, you can just select your carrier information. Like in this case, we can just select other because we don't know the carrier and the shipping mode, we can just select ocean because all inventory is coming from China to Amazon FBA warehouse. But if you are sending your shipment locally within your country, like your supplier is present in your country or you are sending your shipment from your house, then you can just select ground as well. So in this case, we can just select ocean. And as soon as I select this, then I need to select this delivery window date, like on which date I'm expecting my delivery. So let's suppose I'm expecting my delivery into the fifth of next month. So I can just select that date, like next month, fifth, and then after filling out all of the information in this form, I will be able to see this button unlock, like accept charges and confirm shipping. So as soon as I click on this, my shipment will be completed and I will be able to download the shipping labels, which me or my supplier can just place on the cartons, like in 50 cartons, and we are good to go and our shipment is ready to ship. So you can see that our step number one and one B is completed. The step number two is completed. And now we are on step number three, which is print box label. So in order to print those box label, we can just click on this drop down menu, click on thermal printing four by six inch and click on print. So as soon as I click on print button, you can see that a PDF file has been generated and there are 50 pages on this file. That means 50 cartons and 50 labels. So you can see that if I scroll down, there are 50 labels and in each label, we are having the ship from address, ship to address, Amazon V ID and the details about one carton, which we have just given to Amazon in the form of Excel sheet. So now the next step is to forward this PDF file to your supplier so they can paste all of those labels to your cartons and they can ship your inventory to Amazon and be a warehouse and when Amazon will receive your shipment, they will scan these barcodes on the boxes and they will know like this shipment is coming from your account and this shipment is for your product. So they can put and manage your inventory to the Amazon FBA warehouse in their shelf and your inventory will be active and available to purchase. So right after watching this video, I hope you completely understand how you can actually tell Amazon about the weight and dimension of your inventory, the number of carton of your inventory. So if you're stuck at this point, go there, create a shipping plan, fill out that Excel file about your inventory and send your shipping directly to Amazon FBA warehouse in a hassle-free way. So that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.